Today we are taking a look at the Vermeisen Analog Surface Resistance Meter. The unit is available as a standalone unit, the 222637, and as a kit, the 222635. The kit includes the meter itself, a 9 volt alkaline battery, a set of two shielded test leads, two 2.27 kilogram electrodes, the certificate of calibration, and the carry case. Before first use, install the 9 volt alkaline battery needed to power the meter. Ensure that the battery's polarities are aligned in the correct fashion to avoid any possible circuit damage. The analog surface resistance meter is a portable battery powered instrument designed to measure resistance to ground and resistance point to point in accordance with ESD control standards including the European EN 61340-5-1. To carry out any tests on a surface, first remove where possible all items from the surface, including ESD sensitive devices, but do not clean the surface prior to testing as this could affect the reading. In order to measure the resistance to ground, connect both shielded test leads to the test jacks on the meter. Attach one test lead to the protective earth ground and the other lead to one of the 2.27 kg electrodes. Then place the electrode on the centre of the working surface. Set the test voltage button to auto then push and hold the test button until the measurement is displayed. In our example, the needle has stopped between 7 and 8. The measurement for resistance to ground is therefore between 1 times 10 to the 7 ohms to less than 1 times 10 to the 8 ohms. The resistance point to point measurement of a surface can be checked by using both of the 2.27 kilogram electrodes. Place them on the most commonly used area of the surface. Ensure that the electrodes are about 25 cm apart from each other, 5 cm away from any edge, and 8 cm away from any grounded point. Attach the test leads to the electrodes. Connect both shielded test leads to the test jacks on the meter. Set the test voltage button to auto then push and hold the test button as before until the needle stops on a reading. You can perform additional measurements by moving the electrodes to different areas, ideally to the most commonly used area or worn areas. In our example, the needle has stopped just above 8. The measurement for resistance point to point is therefore between 1 times 10 to the 8 ohms to less than 1 times 10 to the 9 ohms. If any measurement is outside acceptable limits, clean the surface with an ESD cleaner containing no insulative silicone such as Restore Anti-Static Surface and Mat Cleaner. Retest the surface to determine if the cause of the failure is an insulative dirty layer or the ESD working surface material. The analog surface resistance meter can be used to measure other materials used in the EPA, such as conductive or dissipative flooring, ESD safe garments, shelving, seating and more.